What's up, guys? Ooh, Swag Wave here. Thank you guys for tuning in to this uh, last live stream for now. Uh, so as you guys can see, this is the, an official announcement for the Age of 7th Annual Age of Swag Wave Stop Motion Tournament. Now, I am mixing this video. This will be this tournament announcement, plus it'll be an unboxing. What's the terror about in the chat? Zap, Primal King, what's going on? TMNT Legends, what's going on, guys? Primal King Productions. So I think I mentioned it last time in the last live stream, but I am in the process of moving. Yeah, I am moving to a different state. What's up, Collector Fett? Remix Studios, what's up, man? Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I am moving. So as you can see in the background, almost all of my shelves have been emptied. There's no more action figures there. Um, I mean, if, if I turn the camera around, you can see that a lot of my stuff is already being packed up. A lot of my action figures, a lot of my sets, I've been packing it up for the last two weeks because I am moving. What's up, Batman versus... DJ Hatter, what's up? The Otaku Dudes, what's up? So yeah, that's why unfortunately uh, my channel's been a little bit slow this last month because um, I did go on vacation and I, it's like I said, I'm moving. I'm moving to a different state. So as you can imagine, it's been crazy trying to pack all of these action figures back into their boxes. Some of them just back into the bins. I mean, looking over here, I have a bunch of figures already packed up and ready to go. Uh, so it's going to be a crazy move. But anyway, that, that aside, I do have three new stop motion for you guys coming in the works. I have the next Transformers Prime Legacy episode dropping any day now this week. Already uploaded to the channel. I'm just waiting for the green light. I have Iron Man versus the Mandarin coming. And boy, am I telling you, this video is on par with that Dragon Ball Z Fusion video I did a couple years ago. It is one of the best, most epic stop motions I've ever done. Big shout out to Spectro Studios. Iron Man vs. the Mandarin is going to be so sick. You guys are going to be blown away. So I got that. I got that. And I have DC, um, a new DC stop motion for you guys. Superman vs. Doomsday. Already in the, already finished. Already filmed. Being edited as we speak. What's up, guys? We're just tuning in. Um, but yeah, those three videos are going to be... Are, man. Like I, I knew I was going to be moving. So I knew that I wouldn't have time to film new stuff. So before I left on vacation, I filmed those three bangers for you guys. Those three videos alone, honestly, could like <laughs> have my channel survive until the end of the year without up me uploading anything. Like they're, they're that good. I'm super excited for you guys to see them. But anyway, let's get into the details of this year's stop motion contest. So yes, like again, I don't. My time is limited, so I figured why not do the live stream unboxing and the contest announcement at the same time. So here we are. Uh, this year, guys. The theme will be Claymation. That's right. For the Age of Swag Wave 7th tournament this year, the stop motion theme will be Claymation. So I, I, I put right here in the background some of my more uh, uh, favorite Claymation pieces that I did in some of my stop motions. Uh, I have the Venomized T-Rex um, that I pimped out using Claymation effects in, in that Old Man Logan video. Um, just like Claymation sculpting throughout. Have some wires inside for like the articulation for the articulated tendrils and whips so this is one of my favorite pieces i still keep it i haven't destroyed it yet i keep it on display another example of a claymation piece that i used in one of my stop motions was in the captain marvel stop motion in which i uh made the kree supreme intelligence so this guy's made out of all clay uh he has a skeleton like a wire skeleton inside so that way all these tendrils here are articulated and they were able to be articulated in the movie that I made and like the mouth was able to open and close so I still have this piece I didn't destroy it it's a pretty sick piece I might need to use it again in a future video and then uh, one of my latest examples of claymation was when I did the Mandalorian video I don't know if you guys remember that Mandalorian video Mandalorian versus the crate dragon in which I recreated that whole scene uh, when he like fought the crate dragon so here's my uh, claymation crate dragon. What's left of it anyway? Some of it I did end up destroying, but I kept the head. Um, yeah, his mouth was able to move and close and stuff. 
The inside, it made out of aluminum and wires. The wires is what helps the claymation have its articulation. So yeah, the contest theme this year is a claymation. I'm hoping that you guys uh, produce a one to five minute claymation stop motion. It's something new. Um, it's I feel like it's a classic art form in stop motion. You know, claymation, all those classic claymation movies um, they used to make. And everything was stop motion and it was made out of clay. So I have some photos for you guys just to get some examples. But uh, like, for example, this like classic Rudolph movie here was a stop motion and all the figures were made out of claymation. So for this contest, you, you guys, I want people to explore the art of claymation, making their own little figures out of clay and doing a stop motion with claymation. Uh, so that is the theme for this year. Uh, and something different that I will that I will say this year there are two separate tournaments going on at the same time. So I, I on the links below I already have the registration form for you guys. There will be the Pro League and the G League stop motion tournaments. So basically for the pr the Pro League there's a strict requirement. It's for more experienced animators um, that want to be more competitive. So and there are requirements. For example, you need to be experienced animator. You need to have at least 1,000 subscribers to go into the pro league. But what I did this year was, this year I'm introducing a G League tournament that's gonna be going on simultaneously. And for the G League tournament, it's mainly for new, pe new people, people who are just trying out stop motion for the first time, maybe beginners and amateurs who are still practicing. So it's more of a fun, less competitive, less competitive atmosphere where you're going up against new talent, people who are practicing, People who people who still are still growing for beginners, and that way um, it's a little bit more fair. Because I know in years past, some of the criticism I've had was that well, new stop motion channels and people who are trying to just try it for the first time, they they feel like a little bit let down because they're going up against experienced competition. Uh, so that way, having two separate tournaments, uh, the pro league and the G league, where that way if you have experience and you do have a bigger channel it could be more fair and if you're still a small channel or you're still someone new someone who wants to try it for the first time and you can go and just have fun and get your name out there that's why i have the g league now um there are prizes for both uh, leagues and i will go to the prizes in a sec so for the g league prizes i do have um three prizes in the g league the first prize being um your own little stop motion kit. So I, I'll provide like a, a new tripod for you and some new lights. I know people who are starting out may not have the like some nice stop motion equipment. So for the one of the G League prizes will be a cool stop motion kit where you'll get a tripod so you can stabilize your shots, some new lamps for your uh, stop motion studio. Uh, the second prize in the G League tournament is a, the Marvel Legends Captain America, Sam Wilson. And the third prize in the G League stop motion tournament is the two pack uh, Marvel Legends Obadiah Stane Iron Monger. So those details are down below for the G League tournament. If you know your, your channel is less than 1,000 subscribers, if you're someone who's new, maybe someone who's still practicing and doesn't feel comfortable being in the more competitive um, tournament, go down below, click on the G League, G League link, and sign up for the G League tournament. Now, for the Pro League, I do have some prizes, separate prizes for the Pro League. One of the prizes will be your choice of one of these Black Series action figures. This is a wave I pre-ordered already, and one of the winners can choose one of these figures for their prize. The second prize in the, G in the Pro League tournament is the new Super Saiyan Goku Full Power SH Figure Arts figure. The third prize um, for the Pro League tournament is the new Titan class arc. And uh, one of the last prizes in the Pro League tournament is a Marvel Legends uh, wave, the Ursa Major Iron Man wave. So those are some of the prizes in the tournament. Uh, again, uh, if you guys are just tuning in, the theme for this year is Claymation. So I want people to explore the art of claymation, 
I want them to make their own little clay action figures, their own little clay figurines, and make a stop motion, a claymation. That it, uh, that's it. And honestly, if you guys don't know how to start, or if, all you need is three simple things. You need some clay. You need some clay. You need some uh, aluminum, some copper wire, and aluminum tin foil. So I mean there. There, there are tons of how to make claymation figures on YouTube, uh, but the simplest three things is clay, copper wire, and aluminum foil. And all three of these things you can get easily from like a grocery store, your art and crafts Michael store, or I got all three of these on Amazon. Um, but basically the reason you need the copper wire and the aluminum foil is because this is how you make the skeleton of claymation figures. Um, so claymation figures, as you, um, they pose and move more easily when they have a skeleton inside. So if you see here one of the tentacles, I'm gonna start peeling some of the clay off. Underneath the clay, I have the wires and the aluminum. That way, uh, these things are posable and it can move easily without the clay breaking off. So, um, yeah, I mean, I figured it was something fun. I know every year I try to do something different and um, the last couple of years, I've experimented myself with claymation. And I st claymation is a, a, a new stop motion skill that if you want to become better, it's something that you want to practice and try. And who knows? You might like it. You might not. But at least you tried it and you gained that skill in your repertoire. So again, um, here are some examples of some of my claymation figures to create dragon, um, to create supreme intelligence, and my venomized T-Rex over here. So definitely, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be something interesting, something fun. Um, in order to sign up, the links are down in the description below. So remember, there's the G League tournament and the Pro League tournament. So again, the Pro League tournament, you must have a thousand subscribers. It's for more experienced animators who are more competitive and are going for bigger prizes. But the G League tournament is more for geared toward uh, beginners, people who are just starting out, people who want to practice, people who have smaller channels. That way they have some fun and they can still win prizes and not feel like they're being like uh, basically stomped by all the like experience competition. Because that is one of like the growing points from the last couple of years was that some animators felt um, like upset because they felt like it was unfair that they were going up these smaller channels and inexperienced channels were going up against bigger channels with more experience. And it was kind of like, well, it's obviously who's going to win. Like it's, it was, so there was, this is like a cool a new idea so that people have a fair shot and still have some fun. So again, if you want to sign up for this year's tournament, go down to the description. The two links are already there for you to sign up. There's the G League uh, link and the Pro League links for you guys to sign up for this year's tournament. All the details about the deadlines and how long it's supposed to be is all on that form. And again, the theme for this year is claymation. Make your own claymation. Make some fun figures out of clay and animate um, a claymation. Uh, but yeah, man, this should, this should be fun. I mean, you can do anything with claymation. You can make your own little unique figures. You can make yourself. You can make dinosaurs. You can make uh, superheroes out of clay. You can make uh, Godzilla out of clay. You know, there's the possibilities with claymation. It's all up to your imagination. So that's, um, I think that that's, that's a cool idea for people to try out. I've, be, I've become a fan of claymation. Um, that's why I started to practice claymation and use some claymation stuff in some of my stop motions recently. And I thought it'd be something new, something cool that I think people should try and practice with. Um, so yeah, links in the description below. Good luck. And if you guys have any other questions about the tournament, uh, you can just leave them in the comments and I could answer them later after the stream. So um, let's go into the unboxing. But yeah, I figured I'd just knock out the top motion contest announcement and the unboxing at the same time because I am running out of time. Parker Studios, the G League is no longer accepting. Uh, uh, let's see. I have the forms here. Maybe there's a setting that I had all messed up. Let me check. Pro League, G League. Okay. Here, let me go to the settings real quick. Respond. Connect emails. Responses. Okay. 
So yes, thank you for pointing that out, Parker Studios. I didn't realize that I had to turn it on. I just turned it on. So the G League is now accepting responses, and so is the Pro League. Thank you for catching that. I had not realized that before. So there. If you guys haven't registered yet or were having trouble registering before, I just flipped the switch. There was a switch about accepting answers. I just flipped it on for the G League and for the Pro League. Uh, good question. Question from John Zilla Han. He said, can I include action figures in the claymation? So, yes, um, you can include action figures in the claymation. But, again, the, the main center point, the centerpiece of the animation has to be the claymation figure. So the claymation figure has to be the main focus. And if it's, if it's fighting an another action figure, that's totally cool. And there are other different action figures in the background, that is fine. But the claymation has to be the main focus of the stop motion. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's actually a very good question, uh, John Zilla. So I'm going to actually add that into the form real quick so that other people have that question answered. Claymation. Create a fun claymation stop motion. You can use other action figures, but the main focus should be the claymation figure. There, I added that to the form on the G League, and I'm going to copy and paste this and add it to the Pro League form just so people uh, have that clarified. Yeah, you definitely can use other action figures in the stop motion for the tournament, but the main figure, the main character, the main focus should be the claymation figure you make. Try to copy and paste this here. All right, cool. Um, yeah, both the Pro League registration and G League registration should be on. Uh, I think it's going to be super fun. I think it's something unique that no one has tried yet in the stop motion form. Uh, hope you guys... I mean, I try to give you enough time. The stop motion contest starts today, and I, the deadline for your submission will be September 5th. So I think you have a month and, a, and maybe even a, an extra week. So I think you have five weeks starting today um, to produce this one to five minute claymation video. Uh, Kata Potato G League prizes. So there are G, there are three G League prizes. Uh, the first prize is uh, a stop motion studio kit. So you'll receive a tripod and you'll receive some new uh, lighting lamps to make your stop motions more professional. Uh, the second G League prize is the Marvel Legends Captain America, Sam Wilson. And the third G League prize is the two pack Obadiah Stane Iron Monger Marvel Legends. But yeah, I included that information in the forms. Uh, good luck. If you're having trouble registering, just t yeah, type it in the chat or put it, leave a comment and I will we'll definitely get back to it. But let's start the unboxing. And this first figure I have right here, uh, a hunt. It's a hunt from Walmart. Again, it's the Walmart by my house. I don't go there often, but every once in a while, I, I get a spider sense and I'm like, you know what? Let me go check that Walmart because every time I go, I find one nice thing. And, yep, they didn't let me down. I found the Sparkless Seeker, the exclusive Walmart Sparkless Seeker at my Walmart in person last week. So I figured I'd wait and open it with you guys. So this guy's going to be cool. Uh, you can never have too many Seekers, as a good friend once said. Let's get on with this unboxing over here. But if you guys have any more questions, feel free to just drop them in the chat, in the comments. The G League and the Pro League are both open for registration now. I did fix the problem it, had, it was earlier. And the first figure to unbox, we have the new Black Series Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker. Now, funny enough, again, since I'm moving and all my stuff's all packed, I'm definitely just going to leave it <laughs> in this Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to put it inside <laughs> this Tupper. For other figures that I already packed. All right, that's the first action figure of the unboxing. Yeah, that new Obi Wan and Anakin Clone Wars figures. Those are so nice, man. They might be the best Obi Wan and Anakin figures that Black Series has made so far. 
next action figure. They wrapped it in a black plastic bag for some reason. Better than no wrapping. Oh, boom. Lady Deathstrike. Marvel Legends Lady Deathstrike. Uh, super cool X-Men villain. Whenever I think of her, I, I think of Wolverine and I think of Weapon X. And I think of the Reavers. Add her to the bin. Yeah, I should honestly just keep this bin open. Again, if you guys are just tuning in, I am moving. <laughs> I am moving, uh, moving to a new, a new, I got a new place and a new state, new job. So I'm excited, but it's been a lot of hard work packing all my action figures. Um, so I should just leave this lid off and anything new that's uh, in out of the box, I'll just toss it up here. Oh man, but yeah, if you missed a lot, somebody, if, if some of you guys in the chat can help my friend over here, stop motion commotion, what's up? If some of you guys can fr help our friends coming in and fill them out some of the contest details. But if you want to register, the registration links for the stop motion tournament are in the description in this video. Um, now, uh, the theme of this year, I'll repeat it once again, this, theme, this year's theme is claymation. Create a claymation stop motion. Um... And I'm something different about this year is that there will be two separate tournaments. There will be a G League and a Pro League. What's up, Godzilla? 88 Kaiju, inevitable films. What's up, man? What if you only have Play-Doh? You can definitely use Play-Doh, but uh, the rec my recommended clay for claymation is uh, I got a picture of it right here. The brand is called Plastilina. And this brand is cl special clay for claymation. And unlike Play-Doh, if you leave plastilina out, it won't dry up. You know how sometimes if you leave Play-Doh out in the open, it dries up and turns hard? So that's why sometimes Play-Doh is tricky to use. So in, in the registration form, I did recommend that you guys buy and use the plastilina clay. And it looks like this. They, they sell them in bricks. Different colors, red, white, pink, green, blue, purple. Uh, this brand of clay is special. It doesn't dry up. It's mainly for like, yeah, for crafting claymation figures and for crafting little figures. So if you guys can get this clay, you can get it at Michael's or the easiest part, spot to get it is Amazon. I have bought my cl plastilina clay on Amazon and this is actually the clay brand I used to make all of my claymation figures. I used Plastilina by Sargent Art. That is the clay I recommend you guys use for claymation. I use that, that same Plastilina brand to make my Crate Dragon. I used it to make the Kree Supreme Intelligence and I used it to cover this outer layer of my T-Rex to make him into the Venomized T-Rex. Prince Productions, what's up? So, next action figure. All right. Ah, yeah, I forgot about this guy. Star Wars Clone Trooper, Ahsoka's Clone Trooper, the 330 seconds. Auto Cloud Prime, what's going on, man? No worries. If you coming in late, it's all good. Can't wait. Again, you guys know I'm a fan of army building, so I can't wait to army build my Republic clone force once I get to my new apartment. Set this guy aside. Right, let's go with this target box over here. But again, if you guys are coming in, I did announce the seventh annual stop motion tournament. The theme this year is claymation. Ah, look at what we have here. This is my first Masters of the Universe action figure. I've never seen the original uh, Masters of the Universe. I don't consider myself a fan of Masters of the Universe, but I wanted to try it out because these figures look pretty cool. This is Skelegod. And I am looking forward to picking up Battle Cat. That Battle Cat is giant. It's huge. It's amazing. 
So I might get Battle Cat, He-Man, and Skeletor, maybe. Um, and we'll see. If I end up liking the figures, I might have to start getting more He-Man stuff. But these figures are great. And, I mean, it's the it had 30 points of articulation. This line is definitely aimed towards collectors. So I'm definitely going to keep Skeletor God. I'm looking forward to getting Battle Cat and He-Man. And that just might be it. I don't know. Because, again, I'm not a big Masters of the Universe fan. I saw the new show on Netflix. I thought it was cool. So, new Skeleton God. Hopefully, I don't fall down another black hole and start collecting Masters of the Universe. <laughs> DP, what's up, man? Thank you. Dude, you should get it. Revy Boy, if you, you need to get that Battle Cat. That Battle Cat is so nice. And also, I know scalpers are, are like buying all the Battle Cats out and selling them for like 80 bucks on eBay, even though he's only worth $30. So if you see that Battle Cat, you better pounce on it. <laughs> Crimson Raptors want to customize that Battle Cat. Oh, an articulated saber to Tiger. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Ooh, new first Marvel Legends of the day. The new Ursa Major Hologram Iron Man. Ever since I got my uh, Hall of Armors playset, I'm now addicted. What's up, Adriano? I'm now addicted to collecting Iron Man armors just to like fill up the display. And I I did used to own the Civil War armor, but I sold it because I didn't really like it. But the Civil War Iron Man armor in holographic form with all these like lines and stuff looked kind of cool. So he's back. Auto Cloud Prime, what's up? All right, next action figure. Let's get to it. Mm. Ah, look at that. If you guys were here earlier, you guys saw that I had um, Crosshair last time. Now we have Hunter to join the Bad Batch. New Hunter figure over here, joining the Bad Batch. Now I just need Tech. I need Wrecker and Fives, is it? I don't know this lighting helps here a little bit. There you go. Another welcome addition to the Clone Army. Chris, uh, it's going pretty good. I don't know if you were here earlier, but I am moving. Yeah, I'm moving. That's why you see my display cases back there? They're all empty. I had to pack up all my action figures and clean up the studio. So I haven't been able to film as much as I want to because I'm moving. And uh, it's taken a long time to pack everything up. Oh, man, this is a figure arts. Yes, I know what this is. I'm glad I pre-ordered this. This is the final members of the Ginyu Force. Birder and what's his name? Gudo? Gouda Cheese? Birder and Guldo. The final members of the Ginyu Force. I pre-ordered this. And I'm glad I did because I play I paid regular price. Because this thing is being sold for 200 plus on eBay if we didn't pre-order it, so it sucks to be. Sucks to, not, sucks to suck. Sucks to if you didn't pre-order this and you wanted it. But you know what? I'm going to just leave it in this box and place it over here because I am moving, so there's no point in opening it up. Anyway. Preston Animates. Great question. Where do I submit my entry? So every year, uh, people who are entering my tournaments, all they got to do is upload the videos to YouTube and then let me know that the video is done. And I'll go... Look for your video, and I'll add it to the playlist, the Stop Motion Tournament playlist. So in order to submit it, you just have to upload it to YouTube. Follow the directions. You do need to include Age of Swag Wave Tournament in the title. And you need to you need to contact me either on Instagram or send me an email letting me know that, hey, my Stop Motion uh, video for the tournament is up. Please add it to the playlist. New action figure, Power Ranger. Hey! The new SPD, SPD-3. Green Ranger. 
I'm a fan of Power Rangers SPD. I love their outfits, and I decided that I'm going to collect all the SPD stuff. Komodo Productions, no worries, bro. Yeah, man, I was on I was on vacation. I was on vacation. I was in a different country, and I was in Germany for two weeks, which is why, like, I went missing in action on Instagram and YouTube and hadn't updated anything. But I just got back. Like I promised, I wanted to do one last live stream before I move. I told some of you guys I am moving, and I've you can see in the background, all my action figures are gone. They're all packed up. Uh, but... Someone's next package over here. I did announce the tournament. This year's stop motion tournament is Claymation. Next figure. Oh, another second Marvel Legends. Iron Heart. Riri Williams, Iron Heart. Another Iron Man armor to the collection. But uh, the prizes this year, uh, there's there again, there's two separate tournaments. There's the, there's the G League tournament and the Pro League tournament. The G League tournament's more for beginners, people who have smaller channels, people who just want to have fun. Um, and there are three separate prizes on that G League tournament. I did list all the prizes on the registration form. So if you're interested in registering for the tournaments, just go down to the links below, click the tournament you're registering for, the G League or the Pro League, and fill out the form. And on that form, I did list separate prizes. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this one. I think I know which one this is. This is the one, I think this is one of the figures I've been waiting for for like a year. And as soon as you guys see this figure, you will know exactly why I've been waiting for this figure and why it's so important. This figure is so important for the future of my stop motions. You will see why in just a sec. Oh, man. That's right, boys. I finally got it. The Mezco Thanos. In all its glory. I had bought this figure like two months ago. I had this figure in my house for two months. I was saving it for the last stream. Mezco Thanos, the Mad Titan. I've been waiting for this figure so I can continue my Avengers Endgame leg uh, series. Uh, the custom Thanos I had did, was fantastic in the first couple of episodes of Infinity War Part 1, Infinity War Part 2, and Endgame Part 1. But for Endgame Part 2, I needed a more articulated Thanos with more range of motion, better expressions, because the Endgame Part 2 is going to be the ultimate battle, the battle for the universe. So, yep, I can finally, once I move into my new apartment, I can finally start planning Endgame Part 2. So I got Thanos right here. Yes, son. Put him over here. Uh, Geek Lore. That is not a stupid question at all. Uh, someone, John, John Zilla, had a similar question. Question is, can I use action figures with the Claymation together in the G League? Yes, both in the G League and in the Pro League, you are allowed to use action figures in the video as long as the claymation figure is the main character or the focus of the video. Your claymation should be the focus, not the other action figures. If you're using other action figures in the video, that's totally fine, but the claymation figure itself should be the main focus or the main character, if you will. Man, what? we have one more left. One more left, and again, I don't know when I'll be able to do another unboxing because, again, I'm moving. I got to get set up into my new place, set up the studio, and that's gonna. I'm gonna spend a lot of money on the moving expenses, like uh, putting a new down payment. I am moving uh, to California, and it's a lot more expensive over there. So it's gonna be a while, maybe a couple, maybe like two months, 
until the next unboxing live stream. Uh, but let's get it. This is the last edition figure of the lot. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get any questions about stop motion tournament this year. Leave them in the contest on the bottom below. And some special guest announcement I, I should have mentioned earlier, but thank you. Thank you, Ruby Boy. Um, this year we have two new judges. We will have Trickshot726 as one of the judges, and Red Mask Animations is joining as one of the judges, man. So that's going to be fun. Uh, hanging out with them and being able to talk about the uh, you guys' stop motions. We're going to have a fun time. But uh, let's see what's in this big boy. If you guys remember the last stream, I did get that Mosasaur. And for some reason, those Jurassic Park dinosaurs are just too cool. <laughs> can you enter from the UK? Yes. Doesn't matter what country you're in, anyone can enter. This is... The Jurassic Park Le Legacy Collection Branchosaurus. After I bought that Mosasaur, it was game over. <laughs> when I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, I loved Jurassic Park. The first Jurassic Park film I saw it in theaters as a, as a small boy. And I loved collecting dinosaurs. Before I got into Transformers, I collected I collected dinosaur figures, and um, I had a, I had like over a hundred a hundred dinosaurs. I would used to like put them all out in the the living room. And I don't know if you guys ever saw Jurassic Park Two: Lost World, that scene where those uh, hunters are in jeeps and they're like capturing dinosaurs. Um, I used to replay that scene over and over every day, like have a bunch of dinosaurs running in a herd and have some Jeeps like capturing dinosaurs. I love that scene. Uh, I was addicted to dinosaurs. I was in love with dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure in elementary school I wanted to be a paleontologist. Um, and then one day, like I had a nightmare. I, I guess I had too many dinosaurs on the brain. One day as a kid, I had a nightmare in which velociraptors broke into my house and like ate my family and they were going to eat me. And I woke up, and ever since then, I was terrified, and I did not want to play with dinosaur figures anymore. <laughs> so I stopped. And then, you know, I stopped around the age of four with dinosaur figures. And um, when I was five, five or six, that's when Beast Wars started to come out, I think. And, uh, yeah, I got into Transformers, Beast Wars, and Transformers, and I started collecting Transformers, and that's where my love of action figures officially began with the Transformers and onward. But um, I don't know, buying that Mosasaur last last month kind of brought that love of Jurassic Park dinosaur figures back to me, especially since it was so massive. I mean, like that T-Rex is awesome. The Mosasaur was great. And when I saw that the Jurassic Park made this like giant uh, Brontosaurus that's to scale beautiful. The shit, yeah. The, this thing was huge. The shipping for this thing was like twenty bucks. I should have just, I should have just waited and found it at the store, and I would have saved twenty bucks. But oh well. Man, oh man. <sighs> Jesus. But yeah, man. Let's see. I think I could open a couple of these guys. I do have some time. So let's open up some of these smaller figures down here. Like the Power Ranger, Hunter. And if you guys have any questions about the tournament, just drop them in the chat or drop them in the comments. I'll try my best to get to all of them. But yeah, I'm excited for this year's tournament. Have some new judge, new judges on the new judges. Of course, Leo Legendary and Unraveled are back. And um, I did ask Trick Shot and Red Mask to be part of the judges panel this year. And again, if you guys just if you guys are just joining in. Uh, the theme of this year's contest is claymation. Create a claymation. Create your own clay action figure. Have fun with some claymation. Yeah, for sure. Never thought we would ever get a branch source that big. Um, I'm glad we did because it's a figure I did not know I want. <laughs> I wanted so. Now I'm gonna start with this um, Sparkless Seeker only because it's, I've been holding on to him like this for a long time since I found it at Walmart. And I've just been staring at it every day saying, man, I should open this guy. I should open this guy. 
But you know what? I wanted to wait for you guys so we can open them here together. Sparkless Seeker. So it's basically like a dead Seeker. Which I think is kind of cool. I did get the other Sparkless bot a couple, couple streams ago. So I knew I needed to get this guy. JJ Motions, yeah, man. Seventh stop motion, seventh Aegis Wag Wave contest is live. Registration forms are in the description below. There are two separate tournaments this year. There's the G League and the Pro League. So again, the theme for both is a claymation. Create a claymation figure. Do a claymation stop motion. Um, and basically, the Pro League is for people who have pe for more experienced animators, bigger channels. Minimum requiring at least a thousand subscribers or more, and um, the G League is for new, new, new animators, people who want to try it and practice for the first time, people who are still have smaller channels, um, who just want to have some fun and get some exposure, gain some new fans, and get some shout outs for me. So uh, yeah, there's the G League and the Pro League. Go down below and sign up to your tournament. And again, hush, what's going on, dude? Uh, the reason I did this piece is because. In years past, we got it was just one tournament. Everyone was able to participate. But then, like, the new animators and the people who were, were beginners felt like they had an unfair advantage when they faced against a bigger channel. And, I mean, it's kind of true. Like, if you're going up against someone who has a bigger channel and more experience, you're pretty much my, you're pretty much going to lose. Um, so this is a cool new idea I came up with to make it fair for everyone. Uh, so we have the, the pro league for, the, for it was more competitive, for more experienced people. And the G League for smaller channels, um, people who are just beginning, people who are still practicing, or people who want to try for the first time. And yes, there are prizes. There are prizes for both tournaments. I did list the prizes on the registration sheet, but I, I'm more than happy to restate the prizes again. So while I open this guy, I'll start with the G League prizes. Uh, the G League prizes, you get three prizes. Um, it's going to be a new studio kit, so you're going to get a new tripod and some new professional lights for your studio to have a more professional-looking stop motion. Studio kit, a Marvel Legends Captain America, and the two-pack Obadiah Stain Iron Monger Marvel Legends set. Oh, man, this guy is fantastic. Whoa, Crimson, now I see why you're, like, army building these guys. These guys are cool. You guys can see that it's a little dark. There you go. Yeah, the G League, there's no requirements. Anyone can join. It's just for fun. Um, and yeah, there's prizes in the G League too. So it's up to you. Now, for the Pro League, there is a there are more requirements for the Pro League. Like, for example, in the G League, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. Um, you could be a beginner, someone brand new, still subscribers, and you don't have to put your address if you don't want to. In the pro league, it is required for you to put in the address for the prizes, and it is required that you have at least 1,000 subscribers or more. Sparkless Seeker. Dope. Uh, who should I open next? We have the oh, I almost forgot about this guy. We have the Clone Trooper, Thirty Third Skelegod, Power Ranger, Iron Heart Hunter, this Iron Man suit. Great question, great question, Nick. In the in the uh, registration forms, I did put the name of the clay I recommend. I'll say it one more time here. I do recommend this brand right here. It's called. Sergeant, Sergeant Plastilina Clay. Sergeant Art Plastilina Clay. So this art is special, uh, special because unlike Play-Doh and other uh, clays, it does not dry up if you leave it out. You know how sometimes when you make a Play-Doh action figure and you leave it out, it turns hard and it starts crumbling? Well, Plastilina Clay stays fresh. It doesn't harden. And you can use it for pos posing uh, your claymation figures easier. 
So Sargent Art Blastelina Clay is the clay I recommend. You can buy it at Michael's. The easiest spot to buy, honestly, is Amazon. I bought, you can buy a whole brick, two to five pounds for 10 bucks. So, and yeah, definitely I recommend going on YouTube and putting, doing your research, uh, you know, how to make a claymation figure, how to make a claymation. And those videos will definitely help you like make your own little claymation figure. But the three things I will say that you will need, you will need one, obviously the clay and you'll need uh, aluminum foil and you'll, you'll need some copper wire. Like minimum, you need the, those three things. I mean, you can definitely make a claymation figure without any of this and just clay, but it will be harder for the figure to move. Um, so you got to be careful with that. But yeah, basically you make you make the body with the wire and you wrap it with aluminum foil. And once, for example, let's just say uh, I want to make a donut. I make a little ring. Once I have the ring, the skeleton for the donut, use aluminum foil and wrap it around the aluminum just to give it an extra layer like this. And then once I have my skeleton done with the wire and the aluminum, I use my clay and start covering it up and start forming my donut, my clay, <laughs> my claymation uh, articulated donut. So uh, those are some tips. Again, I, I also learned on YouTube. I just like put how to make a claymation figure and I saw some videos and that's how most people made their claymation figures, you know, using wire, aluminum to make the skeleton and then they use clay uh, to put the, the, the top layer. But all right, let's see. Made them all caught up. Uh, it's, yeah, it's the last unboxing for now because, like I said, I am moving. Uh, that's why all my action figures in the background are all packed up. I am moving Friday, and it's going to take a while for me to get settled in and set up my new studio. So uh, that's why this will be my last unboxing for a while. Um, I will need to use a lot of my money for my new expenses. And after I start budgeting and like get used to my new uh, budget, then I'll be able to come back with new unboxings. So, all right. Next figure is, yeah, man, I love this house too. I'm going to miss it. I lived here now for three years. It's a nice place. Hunter joins the ranks. Uh, the comical A AJ. So is this competition only claymation? So the theme is claymation. Yes. The main character or the main focus of your video should be the claymation figure that you make. Sub Dragon Slayer. Uh, now someone asks, can, is it, can I use other action figures in the video? And the answer is yes. Like, if you want to have your claymation figure fight another action figure or just other action figures in the background, that is totally fine. But your main character, the main focus of your video should be the claymation figure that you make. Hush. Oh, thank you, dude. Yeah. Like, again, it's, uh, I've been packing all week. And um, it's going to take weeks for me to get set up in my new place all these action figures i have to move eventually so i won't have all my figures in my studio set up for at least a month so it's going to be rough initially thankfully i do have three stop motions already done for you guys one the transformers legacy episode is dropping this week there's the hologram iron man and I do have Iron Man vs. Mandarin dropping after that, and Superman vs. Doomsday. Three bangers that are going to be so good. You guys gonna hope you guys enjoy. Galvatron 86, what's up, man? You're right on time. Another Iron Man armor for my Hall of Armors. Let's find it about that. And. You get this cool Ursa Major head. I'm looking forward to building Ursa Major. I think it's a cool figure. Question. Inevitable films. How do you pick up the winner? Is it like the quality of the stop motion? Yeah, so basically it'll be like last year. It'll be a tournament style. 
So once once everybody submits their stop motions, there'll be round one, round two, round three in the finals. And in every round, your stop motion is going to get compared to someone else's stop motion. And the judges will decide which one is better, which one is more entertaining, which one's more fun. And the better video will go to the next round. And they'll keep they'll keep advancing tournament style until there's only one person left. And there'll be first, second, third place prizes. So just like last year, it'll be tournament style on the tournament bracket. Uh, so again, September, you guys have until September 5th. Afterwards, I will make the round one video in which I will show the bracket. I'll, I'll announce the bracket and all the, all the entrants. And um, yeah, that's how it goes pretty much like last year, except this, this time we have two separate tournaments going on, the G League and the Pro League. Here once again is the hologram Iron Man. Looking pretty cool, especially in the light. Get this trash to the side. Man. All right, let's get Skelegod out of here. Great question, the one. Do you have to make a new vid for every round? No. So in the registration form, I did write the details. You only need to do one video. Exactly. Do you only need to make, just like last year, you just need one entry. Make one great claymation, and let's see how. And then you gotta that claymation needs to be able to survive every round until you make it to the top. It's a great question. No, you do not need to make multiple videos for every round. You just need to make one entry. So you have until now, until September fifth. Hush SM, the prize list is on the registration form, but real quick, uh, I can say them out loud. For the G League, there's a stop motion studio kit, Marvel Legends Captain America, Falcon Cap, and the Marvel Legends 2-pack Obadiah Stane and Iron Monger. And for the Pro League, there is a SH Figure Arts Goku full power. What else? Forget a Star Wars Black Series figure, a Transformers Titan class. So here, I got the pictures right here. Uh, for the G League, there will be a stop motion studio kit. Marvel Legends, Captain America, Sam Wilson, and the Marvel Legends 2-pack, Obadiah Stane, and Iron Monger set. Now for the Pro League, uh, your choice between one of these Black Series action figures. Super Saiyan Goku, full power. The Titan class arc. And a Marvel Legends Ursa Major build a figure wave. There's Skilligod. Let's get him out of this complicated package. Pretty cool. Great question. No, each prize, the winner does not get all the prizes. There's always a first, second, and third place. And yeah, there's, there's their individual prizes for the individual winners. So it even has a cloth cape. That is cool. I like that. Multiple layered cloth cape. Man, it looks pretty sick. Skelegod. Yep, looking forward to getting He-Man. Again, I'm not a Master of the Universe fan. I don't really care about the show. Um, but these figures are pretty dope. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's basically it. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, I'm, I did see the show on Netflix. Like I binged it yesterday, um, just to get a sense of what the show's about. And I know the '80s cartoon, what it's kind of about. Um, but uh, the '80s cartoon, it was just wacky and like Skeletor never really did anything cool. Like he never really accomplished his goals. And in this series, it was kind of cool to see. Well, finally, he broke into Castle Grayskull. Finally, he got the sword, and he, for the first time ever, he, like, s stole the powers of the universe and said, like, the I have the power phrase, and he, like, transformed into this guy, which is, I think, was a sick idea. Yeah, here it is, whatever. I think it's called the Master Sword, right? I don't know. Come with some extra set of hands. Cool figure. Looking forward to getting that He-Man and Battle Cat. Uh, the comical AJ. I did write the, the, the brand of the clay in the registration forms. So if you're in the registration form, you can see the name. I'll say it one more time. Um, I've already said it like three times. <laughs> but... Here it is. I recommend using the Sergeant Art Blastilina Clay. Sergeant Art Blastilina Clay is the best clay for the claymation. You can get it at Michael's, and or more easier, you can just order it on Amazon and get it shipped to your house. Sergeant Art Blastilina Clay is the clay I recommend. You can try other clays. But I, I don't know how good they are. You got to be careful and make sure that those clays um, are not. Make sure that it does not say air dry. So you see how I have this like Crayola clay here? This Crayola clay here says air dry. You do not want that. If it air dries, that means that it will turn hard once the clay has been left out. So make sure the clay you buy does not say air dry. You do not want air dry clay. Yeah, for sure. Scare Glow looks pretty cool. I know it's an exclusive. I might have to get it. I, Scare Glow comes out on the show. I mean, he has some pretty cool scenes. I thought he was a cool character. So I'm, I might have to get Scare Glow. And again, I'm not a fan of Masters of the Universe. I don't care about the characters, but Scarecrow is pretty cool. So I might have to get them anyway. All right, there's a Hunter's helmet and his backpack. I don't know. His armor looks kind of wonky and unproportional, especially his helmet. But there he is. Please open Thanos. My phone's about to die. When am I doing a crossover stop motion series? We're not talking about spoilers anymore. <laughs> um, so, cool fact, Trickshot and I have met multiple times already and we are planning a crossover animation series. I think that would be cool. All right. Are you making a Street Fighter stop motion? I, I did make like a Chun-Li video versus Venom. It was more of a Marvel versus Capcom video. But not a lot of people like watched it or really liked it, even though I thought it was cool. So I don't know about Street Fighter. I don't have any more Street Fighter figures except for um, Waifu Chun-Li. <laughs> All right, we got three more. I have about a minute left, so I can only open one because I got to make this quick. I got to keep cleaning and packing my house. 
Oh, that's right. I also did Mega Man versus Iron Man. So I did two of those like Marvel versus Capcom videos, Street Fighter esque. Um, people didn't really like like them, but I mean, I did try making Mortal Kombat videos, and people really enjoyed the Mortal Kombat videos. I do have two. I am planning on making a part three to the Mortal Kombat stuff. Adrian, definitely making the next Dragon Ball and Endgame once I'm moved, I'm settled, and my new studio is set up. Because, man, I'm going to need my whole studio to make those videos. Uh, I'm more interested in Ironheart. So I'm going to open Ironheart, and that'll be the last figure for the stream, guys. Oh, damn, man. Sorry about that power going out. Open SPD green. I'll, I'll make I'll make it quick. That way I can open some more. Um, yeah. So yeah, I really got to clean up and keep packing this stuff because again, I move tomorrow. So I am on a deadline. Here's Ironheart. She has some cool smoke effects, which I'm excited to use. And of course, there's some major build of figure keys. All right, let's get SPD Green out. But yeah, guys, thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Uh, I'm excited about this year's contest. Good luck to everyone entering. Again, the links are in the description below. SPD green. Can't wait to pose them with the other ones. And I'll get 330 seconds out. But yeah, man. For sure, man, I will miss this house. A lot of good stop motions were filmed in this house. My Endgame and the Infinity War stuff was all filmed here. The Power Rangers videos, the Mortal Kombat videos. Most of the Godzilla videos were filmed in this house. Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin. My Avenger videos. Avengers vs. Kang. Avengers versus Ronan. The new Avengers was filmed here. That is a cool idea. If I do do an ABD3, bring in some Beast War stuff. 330 seconds. Might need to get one more of these for the army building, you know? The beat my yeah my Beast Wars videos were filmed here. Here, a lot of good videos filmed here. I will miss it. Hopefully, thank you, the one. Hopefully, I find a new place, a new nice place. So the plan right now, uh, I don't have a new place yet. I am going to move in with my parents. I lived here for three years. I'm gonna, my plan is to move in with my parents for a month while I save money at my new job, and then I'm going to be looking for a new apartment uh, in California. And once I have some money saved up and I get a new apartment, I need a larger studio for sure. I'm going to look for a two-room apartment. Uh, you know, I can have my studio. Uh, well, this right here is a house, actually. I, this is a house. So I'm going to miss the house. Um, but in California, it's more expensive. So I do remember Shot of this Prime. Ray Benson, what's up, man? Um, dude, if you're interested in the details for the contest, links in the description for the registration and all the details I already mentioned at the beginning of the video. <laughs> so you, you might have to go back a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, I lived in this house for three years. Before this, I lived in an apartment in the same city here for three other years. Um, but in California, I know things are more expensive. So I definitely will not. I'm not going to be looking for a house. 
definitely going to be looking for a, a spacious apartment. Um, ideally, if I can afford, afford it, something with a uh, two. <laughs> yeah, definitely great food. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking for an apartment, two rooms, and I'm going to try to um, find one that has a spacious rooms so I can make a big studio in that one. Um, so that would be nice. But again, I am... I am moving in with my parents like this month. Yeah, 14th Prime, you knew it was coming. I, I knew I'm, I'm moving in with my parents this month to help me with the move because I am moving tomorrow to a different state. Um, so I start my new job Monday. So that's going to be cool. I'm going to get my new, my paychecks coming in. And my parents are going to help me look for a new apartment. So all my stuff is going to stay packed. So that's why it's going to be tricky to film these stuff for at least a month. But once I get settled into my new apartment, get my studio set up, I should be up and running to start filming my videos again, start tackling Dragon Ball Z and Endgame Part 2, and uh, Transformer Soda. But yeah, I am excited for Shang-Chi. Uh, quick reminder, yes, the next le le the next stop motion is Legacy. It's all uploaded. It's already uploaded. I just need to hit, hit Publish. But uh, I do have a sponsor. So I do have a sponsor on the video. And unfortunately, I can't... Uh, unfortunately, I can't upload... I can't publish the video until the sponsor approves the video first. So I'm waiting on the sponsor to approve the video so I can hit the publish button. Legacy's already done. It's uploaded. But it's unlisted. It's private. So hopefully they approve it by tomorrow. If not, maybe by Monday. But yeah, the next video is Legacy. After that, Iron Man vs. Mandarin. And after that, Superman vs. Doomsday. Those three videos are all done, by the way. So I, I knew I was going to move. I knew I wouldn't have time to film during the move and while I look for a new place. So I wanted to save three good videos for you guys so the channel doesn't starve to death and you guys can get some cool entertainment. Uh, Adriana, I am definitely excited for Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, however you pronounce it, I'm, I'm excited. It looks like a great movie. I'm a bag of Simu. Uh, Simu, I, I saw I saw his uh, show, Kim's Convenience on Netflix. Great show. Crimson Raptors, I know you're going to save money, but considering renting an air conditioning storage unit and film there. Wow, that's actually not a bad idea, bro. So you have electricity, et cetera. Just a search. Huh. Oh, I can drop my full trailer for camera siege this Saturday as well. Nice, man. Good luck. That's a good idea. Just renting a one-room apartment, save money, and then just room rent a storage space and make the storage space my studio. Huh. I never looked into that. How much do storage spaces typically go for? That might that might be a great idea, actually. Um, and it'll be kind of like, oh, I got it's time to go into the office, and I hop in my car and I drive over to the storage space, <laughs> and I film there, huh? Well, I guess it depends on how big the storage space is. It's a good idea. I'll definitely consider that option, especially if I if I can save money. Oh, make sure it's allowed to use electricity. Yeah, yeah, I need, I need, I need, I need some electrical um, outlets for all the lights, cables for the computer and the camera and stuff. Yeah, and preferably air conditioned. But oh, speaking of buzzworthy, the that new Bumblebee Origins figure looks sick. I want it, and no, I have not heard of the new Marvel Legends releases except for the new Galactus. And I think I saw a picture on the internet like before the stream about a zombie cap. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, I have to look into that. It's a great idea, especially since it's more expensive in California. It might just be better to rent a storage space instead of paying a lot more for a two-room apartment. But yeah, guys, I'm going to miss this house. It's 
It's been fun living here for three years. I mean, it feels a little sad, but at the same time, I did great. I, I did get a great new job in California. Um, new opportunities. Um, I will be making a higher salary, so I'll be one step closer to my goals. Um, so in the end, I'll be a little bit more well off. But it was a fun ride here for sure. Gonna miss this place. And it's gonna suck not being able to film for a month until I get set up. But I'm happy with what I accomplished here. I did make three new awesome videos for you guys that I have that you guys are gonna be able to see. Legacy, Iron Affairs Mandarin, Superman Affairs Doomsday, they're all done. So I'm gonna save those for you guys while I'm in the move. That way there's awesome content on the channel while I'm still trying to figure things out and I get my new studio set up. But no, I have not seen the new Marvel Legends reveals. Yeah, I mean, it's pay increase, a lot more. It's a lot more. I did, I did get offered a new job here in this city. Uh, I live in Wisconsin. I did, get paid a, I did get a new job here and I had to pick and choose. Do I get this new job here, which is a little pay increase, or a job in California with a big pay increase. Uh, and my, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I was born in California. Uh, I'm from California. My my family is in California. So I, I live out here alone with my fiance in Wisconsin. So a lot of pros to going back to California, being closer to my family, being home again, and yeah, making an even bigger salary. And I mean, that's not even counting uh, like my YouTube job, like so, um, I'm happy with the decision. Um, I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna be probably out for a month. I'll try to post as much as I can on Instagram, um, and you guys will have three new videos from me. I mean, it's it's a temporary goodbye. Once once I have my new stu studio set up. I should just do a giveaway. I should just do a live stream giveaway. Giveaway action figures. Welcome back. New surprise stop motion. Upload right now. Boom. That would be sick. So if anything, we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a party. We should have a party live stream to celebrate the new studio. Cullen, not leaving. Just moving. I am moving to a different state. So I've been packing up all my, my studio, all my action figures. And I won't be able to make anything new for at least a month. But it's been a wild ride. Thank you guys for joining the live stream. I'll see you guys in my new studio where the next chapter of Swagway Stop Motions will begin. Um, yeah, Tackle Endgame Part 2, Tackle the Dragon Ball Z Fusion Battle, and a bunch of others. Power Rangers Episode 4, Dragon Ball Z, TMNT, Godzilla, everything. It's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to the new adventure. Whoa, new Peggy Carter? All right. It's probably from the uh, What If series, huh? But anyway, Thunder Blast Productions, Komodo, Crimson Raptors, Cullen, everybody who stopped by, thank you for hanging out. Comical AJ, Dragon Slayer, see you guys soon. New stop motions in the works for you guys, so you guys will get a piece of me while I'm gone. Um, thanks for joining and hanging out on this last, for now, unboxing. And if you're interested in the stop motion contest, links are in the description. Join the contest. Have some fun. Get your name out there. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, I'm excited for the contest, excited for my new space, and I can't wait for the next live stream. So see you guys. Take care. Good luck this summer. And uh, I'll see you in the next studio. Peace.